for the past couple videos, I've been teasing you guys about trying on the Autobox seat brace, but I actually haven't been able to try one on. So today, I'm going to the clinic to get fitted for the trial version of the Autobox seat brace. You guys know I've been hyped about this and I am so excited to finally be able to try on the trial version of the brace and see if it's actually even worth pursuing any further because I might go try it on today and it might be super uncomfortable and not what I thought it was. But my hopes are high and we'll see what happens. Really, really three main components of the seat brace. There's an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and hydraulics. So your hydraulics are sort of replacing some of those quad muscles and some of those hamstring and some of your glutes. So when those muscles are lacking and you take a step and you go through swing, and if you were to stumble and come down while your knee's bent, you're not nothing really that will hold you up. So when you have a normal CAFO, knee, ankle, slip orthosis, it, it works during stance. So when you're in full stance, you're locked up, you're not gonna go down. But if you're going downhill, downstairs where your knees are never really locked, there's nothing really keeping you up if you stumble. So it's just wide open, that joint just can be wide open so you can fall. But the biggest thing to remember is it's not gonna pull you up out of the chair, okay? It, it'll help you, you'll feel it when you sit down, you'll feel those hydraulics. There's a single hydraulic, the valve just basically open and closing, and we can set it for different you know, size of the hole. So if the hole's bigger, the, the faster it'll go down. The smaller, the, the more resistance you have. And so there's a couple of new features on the, the 2.0. There's stumble recovery, so basically that's where that gyroscope comes in and the uh, accelerometer. So it's telling you when you're walking in normal gait, if you start to move too fast in one direction or it doesn't feel like it's upright, it's gonna ramp up that resistance so it thinks you're stumbling. So it'll allow you to get your sound leg out in front of you or your hand out if you're bilateral. So that's what's really nice. But you can still trip. Just like here I could, could trip over a branch, you'll still go down. It's not going to stop you from falling, but what it's trying to do is replace those muscles where if I were to stumble, I can seize up and I'm going to stop myself from going. Now, if you do sit on the sea brace like this, you can't sink into it. So if you're able to keep yourself up and if you're able to hold yourself two degrees and hold it for three seconds, it'll lock. So there's a few main things we're looking for when we look for a sea brace. We're looking for cognitive ability. Can you understand commands? Do you have some upper body? Can you advance the limb? Can you get to full extension? So we talked about the hydraulics. The, acceler the accelerometer is basically taking a picture of your knee in space 100 times a second. So that's sort of where that stumble recovery comes in and it's kind of telling, are we into normal gait? Are we starting to stumble? Are we, is, are we not operating the joint correctly? So when, it, when it, we want to get into your knee straight up and down, then you're going to hear a beep when you start walking. It says, okay, the joint has reached full extension. It's ready to release. So you can bend your, and swing your leg through. That's easier. Right there. Look at that. <laughs> it went right into my tailbone. Yeah, yeah but oh, just kidding. So I think we've got this really plantar flex right now. Yeah, this is it. it looks like this bar needs to slide back a little. How does that feel? Yeah, that's right. Um, I am a little bit. So these, um, these right here will be sort of what the brace is. This roll pre preg It's really nice, durable. Yeah. Does the foot play maybe longer? We actually like it that it's not longer because okay. the longer one might stick out and it'll catch. Okay. I usually just start with the smaller foot plate. You're going to feel some weight. Yeah. Um, so that brace weighs about <laughs> twice as much as the definitive. Um, yeah, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one size fits nobody. I like don't know what to expect, and I'm like half excited, and half nervous. Now you're going to be a true cyborg. <laughs> as if I wasn't already. I'm like half metal. I know. Wolverine style. <laughs> hey, this is Jerry Stark. He's the head of our PCS. Yes. Um, Hey Jerry. Mark. Well, hey. we've got a bunch of people here. We got Richard in his brace. Um, I'll come closer so you can see. Um, we think we're pretty centered, pretty lined up. Okay, so we're going to stand nice and tall. We're going to stand kind of on your toes. So stand nice and tall. You can stand up. And then just kind of more on your toes. And if I could kind of see from the side, that would help me. So, we, there you so we want you to stand straight up nice and tall. Both legs next to each other. And get this yep. 
Oh, even weight on either leg? I mean, it feels like yeah. it's pushing me way the forward. Thing okay, is, so, uh, yeah. You gotta get your legs straight as possible. It looks like it's bending a little. We call that the Frau and Mills show. Yeah. The uh, milk made shoe. So, what I want you to do is nose over toes, fanny back, and then I want you to sit down, but I want you to load the orthosis <laughs> too. So, this is kind of different. So, now you're just gonna go ahead and sit down. So, ride that knee down. So look, it's a stance control on there, Mark. So, um, now let's try that again. This time off. I want you to have nose over toes. So nose okay. over toes, Stop. stick your fanny back, Stick's and then sit hands. down and load both sides equally. And then sit down. Do you feel that resistance? Uh, I mean, now, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if he likes this. I keep going until he says that's a little too much. All right, okay. All right nose over toes, fanny back, and then sit down. Is that I, better I, still? I, li I like that one better. Yeah, let, me try it. let me try it one more time. Okay. We'll go five more. We'll be at max at five more. Okay, yeah, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just really trusting it. I'm going to go max. Let's see what happens. Let's go five more. Please don't go now you sit down again. Remember, you gotta lean your weight back and lean yeah. forward. Okay. It's not cheating to keep your hands on the parallel bars, by the way. You can do okay. it. It's okay. So, nose over toes, kick my butt back. Nose over toes, fanny back, and you sit down. The previous setting. Yes. That looked like too much. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. went too far. Good, okay. So, we're back at five off the of max. So, just go ahead and start walking. Just walk normally and try not to drive it. And we want to see if we can make this thing release. Okay? Take a step forward with your right leg and just start walking. Perfect. Good. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Remembering to roll all the way to your toes. And you take that step, leave that left leg back longer. I mean, you're doing it perfect with your. That one you need with full flex. You can't do that perfect. Yeah. And some of that external rotation is just the weight of the trial yeah. tool. Yeah, and it's just sitting way out on side. Yeah, no, I, yeah, and yeah, and and this blue shoe thing is so weird. So. By the way, you're already passed. You've already passed. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> do you feel like a robot? Like a robot. <laughs> I feel like a robot. I really. Uh, just, eventually, does this beeping turn off? Yeah, we can turn it off. My head off. would explode if yeah. I was beeping off. It's just there. to try to make sure to tell you that you're going to turn it off. Some people keep it on because really? they want to know that it's doing it. Whoa, he's like, going away. He's walking without the parallel bar. The robot has gained sentience. <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> leaving. He's taking him to the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I don't want you guys trying yeah. anything. This is uh, not what it's going to feel like. Someone doesn't have the hip strength to do yeah, that. Really good. To be honest, not that I would lie to you. To learn to use it, you could decrease the resistances. And I imagine someone like you is going to slowly change over time. The, the knee pain that I normally get from the hyperextension isn't there. However, new, new acquired shin pain. <laughs> no, 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 that, that won't be on. <laughs> Every time I step, it's uh, like, <laughs> yeah. So, I think Gary was about to say that you overwhelmingly passed. Uh, we can probably let him run if you want to keep you know messing with it. But um, sure, no. You but got any more questions for Drew? You could try stairs or ramps if you wanted, but you passed the you passed the trial. So the question you have to ask yourself, you know, is it giving you the speed you want, the symmetry of gait? Is it giving you the support you desire, and then uneven terrain? So that's so as far as the mechanical part of that test, that you you've done great. All right. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah. All right. Hey, good to meet you guys. You did great. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. Thanks, All right. Jerry. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. We don't have any slopes in here. We have it out front. It's and it's, front. I was going to say, it has railings. And we're going to go run outside and try some obstacles. That's perfect. Yes. It's not super... Why the resistance is up because it knows you're going downhill. Remember, 
remember that gyroscope. Going down, I wasn't a huge fan. And but and that's where so where that setting where you're going down like the sitting uh -huh. that's where this comes into play. Yeah, so, no. Really high. So it may be one of those, it's too, it felt good with sitting, but it's too much when you feel like you're going down the slope. That could be a factor, or just that this weighs so much, I'm having a hard time lifting it up. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, please put a hand on there one, really. <laughs> He's like already on like, somebody has had one for three months. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. This is where the, now this isn't really a whole lot of a decline. Yes. It's pretty flat. But this is what it's doing. That gyroscope says, all right, we're going down. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna release this joint. So I, whenever you set that resistance, which is what, 185? Yeah. So you're at 185 when you're stepping. So it's gonna feel like you're bending a really thick rubber band or trying to slide. Yeah, and that's, and it, it, it's, so it's like, this part's fine. It's, it's clearing the toe. Yep, it's, it's like, Good, 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 not good. Good, 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 not good. So it has to repeat. Step that one. Yep. Then no, just take another, go just like that. A little bit over. So just like that. Yeah. So your resistance again is really high. Right now it's going to be hard for you to bend it to get up a stair. All right. It will. Yeah. Yes. So I'll take my, my, yeah. old, my old approach. You're still going to have to go. Step, step, step with that. Foot over foot. You got it. You got it. It's so heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. 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 Cool. How's your knee feeling right now? Good. Railing. Good, really? <laughs> Yes. He's part man, half microwave. <laughs> yeah. Autobot, roll out. <laughs> Optimus Prime, come here. Mm -hmm. yeah, because yeah. you could be stumbling. Oh, I see what you're so first impressions on the trial is, well, it's a trial. It's precisely made for no one, so it's not gonna be fitting exactly the way that my actual brace is going to be fitting me. I'm excited about it. I think it's really gonna do what I think it's gonna do. Um, the trial version is twice as heavy and definitely clunky and you know, kind of makes my toe roll out a little bit, but I don't really know how to describe the way it feels other than it feels like a big stretchy rubber band or maybe an extra tendon in my leg that I never really knew was there. And the way that you deploy it is almost intentionally falling, or at least in my case where if I buckle my knee, I fall, but in this case, I have to buckle my knee in order for the C-brace to actually activate. And that is a really strange pattern that I'm gonna have to get used to, but all in all, just some from the trial perspective, um, I'm thrilled at the possibilities of what this is gonna look like and what the next stages are. All right, and that wraps it up. And I am so tired. I have not walked around that much in such a long time. And honestly, I'm a little bit scared to see um, what my pain levels are tonight and uh, how much my back is killing me. But if you enjoyed this video so far and wanna see more, please be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to subscribe. And finally, if you haven't seen the podcast, click the link in the description and go check out that podcast. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.